Let's start by creating a design. As usual, I'll be using my custom size. Once your workspace is set up, we are going to find some cool fonts. Bring your cursor over to your left hand corner, go to elements and you can type in fonts. It is as simple as that. So once you click on fonts, you will be able to scroll down and see various kinds of fonts. And from here, you can start building your fonts collection in Canva. Okay, uh, as you can see, there are many, many types of fonts. Some of them are just, uh, uh, you know, for uh, like it's uh, it's like pictures and not a very user friendly. But uh, there are standalone uh, fonts that you can really use. Once you click on any one of these fonts, you will get magic recommendations. Once you have those magic recommendations, what you can do is you can organize your fonts. You can click on the fonts. Uh, like now, I have P in your magic recommendations. You would have received. You you will actually see a b i you what you can do is you can actually click on all these and you can uh, collate all these and from a to z and uh, numbers also for some of the fonts you'll be able to find special characters and numbers as well uh, not only uppercase letters you'll be able to find lowercase letters as well so what you need to do is if you're planning on using any of these fonts you will need to uh, find these fonts and uh, make sure you keep them you know in separately uh, maybe in one of the folders or you can keep it as a separate file which you can go um, uh, like uh, as and when you require these things so uh, as you can see I'm like uh, whenever I'm clicking on something a magic recommendation uh, comes below it and I'm clicking on them and from there I'm like building my font base so this is one way of doing this okay and uh, whenever you are not sure what the uh, how to find your font and you have already found one of the font what you can do is you can click on the three dots that is next to the uh, next to the font picture and from there you will be able to see see uh, for, for example this is 3d rendered vintage steampunk style letter w uppercase so what you can do is you can copy exactly the same thing and type in the letter that you want to find and uh, you will find that in the element section this is another font and uh, similarly you can see it actually gives you magic recommendations and you will be able to find these fonts. Uh, what I would uh, like to bring to your attention is like most of these fonts are for pro users. So if you want a pro uh, free trial uh, to actually check out the waters before you commit, you can do so by clicking on the link in the description box below. Okay, there are many, 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 many fonts in Canva. So, what you can do is you have to you have to play around with it and find what you like. You can actually search. Maybe you can search for velvet uh, velvet fonts. You can search for uh, furry fonts. You can search for honey for honey. You know, uh, like uh, it is amazing what you can find when you actually uh, like sit down and search for it. So, um, try to have fun and uh, see this is one example of a very cool uh, font I just love this font so much this is so so cool so uh, yeah even then uh, uh, you will have to put some effort in and find uh, the fonts that you like collate them and uh, keep them in a place where you can revisit them and use them for your various projects in Canva, it is so much fun to actually find things. Sometimes you will be amazed at what you are able to find. And uh, one thing will lead to another and uh, you will be able to find a lot more than what you actually set out to. Okay, uh, I'm just showing you more examples and uh, look at this. It is like so cool. It is a furry font and uh, you have like numbers and various options over here. And it's called the 3D render of fluffy fur orange letters maybe if we search for blue letters maybe we'll be able to find that also so it's actually fun so uh, take note of the keywords that are coming out of these uh, when you click on them uh, you'll be able to see see I, I told you there's a blue one there there's a pink one uh, it, uh, it's really cute okay uh, so um, what you need to do is you need to take note of the keywords and uh, you have to note them down or you know um, just uh, keep a diary or keep a file in your computer which actually gives you these um, um, 
what you say these keywords so that uh, next time if you're not saving them you can actually use these keywords to search for uh, search for these things when you need them for your projects now we uh, will just uh, fast forward this a little bit uh, so basically this is the idea you will have to find them you will have to collate them you will have to save them and then you can use them so uh, i'll just uh, fast forward this a little bit uh, and uh, i will actually bring you to a section where i will tell you some of the keywords that uh, you can use when you're searching for your fonts so that uh, you will find that a little bit more helpful uh, and uh, it'll get you started so that you don't have to start from scratch i will give you some keywords that uh, you, you will be able to use right away okay let me just uh, position this so that i can start typing The first thing that you want to do is search for fonts and then you can uh, use uh, alphabets and you can use 3D letters, honey letters or honey fonts, dripping fonts, okay, let me just search for it. but it is not the one that I actually showed you earlier You have to scroll down because uh, it is actually based on keywords so you have to scroll down uh, further to see uh, if the fonts are there if you're not able to find after a few scrolls maybe you need to find a, a different uh, different letter maybe you can try alphabets instead of fonts let's see you actually find some cute fonts is this a waffle with honey font okay so you can try fonts you can try alphabets use them interchangeably you will get different results and maybe you'll be surprised at what you get so even with honey there are a few variations of the honey fonts so we can use which suits your taste you can actually find animated letters also and uh, there are neon letters, there are retro, vintage letters and stuff. So yes, uh, these are uh, the list I'm giving you is just to get you started. It's uh, in no way exhaustive. So add to your own list, add to your own font collection. And uh, if you would like to share uh, your collection, you can actually share with us your Canva template uh, so that we can also take a look. You can share your link in the uh, you can share your link in the comment section, and uh, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be. Um, very happy if you would like to share with others also thank you so much for that if you would choose to do so so yeah basically that is it that i wanted to show you guys uh, canva has uh, exhaust it is not exhaustive uh, the, the font collection it has there are various things some um, various types of fonts you can use for your projects and uh, you won't be disappointed so give it a try and uh, do let me know your comments uh, how you liked it if you guys have watched uh, my videos on how to build a character uh, in uh, Canva, uh, like there, I, I would like to share with you the font uh, template also, but I have not done it as yet. So once I have it ready, I will leave a link in the description box below. Uh, it is not up yet, so once I have it, I will do so. So do watch out for that space. A free Canva Pro link is provided in the description box below. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.